Hello, history enthusiasts. We hope you enjoy your time here on our channel, where we delve into the mysteries of the past. This morning, we set off on an exciting adventure through time to learn about the extraordinary world of ancient Roman medicine. Come explore with me the various forms of healing art, medical practices, and technological developments that were used in ancient times to shape healthcare. In addition to being famous for its military might and engineering achievements, the Roman Empire is also credited with making great advancements in the realm of medicine. The Romans left an unmistakable influence on the practice of medicine, which can be seen in their innovative surgical procedures, medicinal herb treatments, and fascinating medical beliefs. Let's begin with surgical procedures in order to get a better understanding of the developments that were made in ancient Roman medicine. Surgeons from Roman times were among the first to pioneer a variety of techniques and discoveries that would later revolutionize medical practices. Even though they lacked the technology that is available to us today, they were able to establish an understanding of human anatomy and conduct sophisticated surgical procedures. The use of cautery, which involves the application of heat to a wound in order to stop bleeding and seal it, is one of the most astounding surgical techniques ever developed. When it came to performing delicate treatments, the Romans were experts in the use of devices such as the scalpel, forceps, and speculum. Amputations and trepanations were also among the more complex surgical procedures that they developed. In ancient Roman medicine, the utilization of surgical procedures was extremely important. Yet, the usage of therapeutic herbs played an equally essential role. The Romans had a strong belief in the transformative potential of nature and made considerable use of plants for their curative qualities. Their expertise in the use of plant treatments was unparalleled. Let's go a little more into the interesting world of Roman medical herbs and remedies from the past, shall we? The Romans had a profound respect for the curative qualities of plants and made extensive use of a diverse range of medicinal herbs in their medical practices. Ancient Romans constantly examined and cataloged medicinal plants because they fervently believed that nature gave treatments for many maladies and because they believed that nature provided medicines for various ailments. They were aware of how important it was to use the appropriate herbs in the appropriate amounts in order to obtain the best possible therapeutic benefits. During the time of the ancient Romans, the book titled De Materia Medica, that had been authored by the Greek physician Dioscorides, was considered to be one of the most reliable sources of information regarding medicinal plants. This exhaustive guide contained in-depth descriptions and applications for hundreds of different medicinal plants, the majority of which were native to the Roman Empire and could be found there. Aloe vera was considered by the ancient Romans to have soothing and therapeutic characteristics for skin diseases and burns, therefore it was one of the more common herbs and medicinal plants that they employed. Lavender was prized for its relaxing and aromatic properties, while chamomile was utilized both as a light sedative and as a digestive aid. Mint, which is well known for having a flavor and aroma that are both invigorating, was traditionally utilized to treat digestive difficulties and as a breath refresher. Nettle, which is known for its painful sting, was traditionally used as a treatment for joint discomfort since it was thought to have anti-inflammatory properties. The Romans had a wealth of knowledge when it came to the production of a variety of therapeutic concoctions. They used herbs and other natural components to manufacture concoctions, poultices, and ointments, as well as infusions and decoctions. Depending on what was meant to be accomplished, these formulations were frequently administered either topically or orally. Honey, wine, vinegar, and olive oil were often utilized as base components for crafting therapeutic mixtures in ancient Roman medicine. In addition to botanicals, ancient Roman medicine also used minerals and animal products in their treatments. The Romans made extensive use of myrrh and frankincense, both of which came from the Middle East and were imported by the Romans. Other important components of Roman medicinal concoctions included saffron. These drugs were highly prized due to the therapeutic benefits that were attributed to them. It is fascinating to learn that the ancient Romans recorded their medicinal formulas and remedies in written form, such as scrolls and manuscripts, so that their knowledge could be passed down from one generation to the next. These works offered illuminating perspectives on the concepts and practices that underpinned ancient Roman medicine. The enormous knowledge of therapeutic herbs that the ancient Romans possessed, along with their pioneering use of natural components, laid the groundwork for future developments in pharmacology and pharmaceutical practices. In spite of the fact that some of their beliefs and treatments may appear strange or superstitious to us in this day and age, 
It is essential that we recognize the contribution that they made to the advancement of medical sciences. Because of their medicinal properties, many people traditionally made use of herbs like aloe vera, chamomile, lavender, and mint. The Romans put their expertise to paper in publications such as De Materia Medica by Dioscorides, which was intended to be an all-encompassing reference to therapeutic herbs. They understood the significance of dosage and delivery methods, which paved the way for future developments in the pharmaceutical industry. In addition to herbal remedies and surgical procedures, ancient Roman medicine was profoundly founded in a variety of fascinating medical beliefs. The ancient Romans believed that sickness was caused by a number of different things, including an imbalance in the body's humors, supernatural forces, and environmental conditions. They relied on a variety of treatments, from prayers and offerings to the gods to more intricate ceremonies, in order to cure these maladies. Temples dedicated to the god of healing, Asclepius, were a familiar sight in ancient Rome. People went to these sanctuaries in the hope that divine intervention would cure whatever ailed them. These sanctuaries acted as centers for medical treatment. The priests, who were known as Asclepiades, provided a blend of religious and medical practices, putting an emphasis on the significance of faith in the process of healing. We look to the works of renowned ancient Roman physicians in order to gain deeper insight into the medical practices of the past and the state of ancient healthcare. During this time period, notable individuals such as Galen and Celsus made significant contributions to the body of medical knowledge. Their writings covered a wide range of subjects like anatomy, disease classification, and pharmacology, amongst others. Particularly major improvements were achieved by Galen, who, in order to gain a greater understanding of human anatomy, dissected animals. His discoveries about the circulatory system, nerves, and muscles established the groundwork for subsequent advances in medical science. Celsus, on the other hand, wrote extensively on the topic of wound care and emphasized how important it was to keep the wound clean and apply the bandage correctly. Even if the medical breakthroughs made by the ancient Romans were amazing for their time, it is essential to keep in mind that healthcare in ancient cultures was plagued by a number of severe obstacles. Their insufficient understanding of germs, problems with sanitation, and lack of access to contemporary equipment were all obstacles that slowed down their development. Despite this, ancient Roman medicine was extremely influential on the development of subsequent medical practices. The Roman Empire's sphere of influence was enormous, and as a result, it was responsible for the dissemination of knowledge and the development of medical traditions around the globe. Let's transfer our attention to the interesting world of ancient Roman medicine for a little, shall we? By applying their skills, knowledge, and experience to the delivery of healthcare services to the people of the Roman Empire, these knowledgeable physicians were an essential component of the Roman Empire's healthcare system. In ancient Rome, those who practiced medicine were referred to by a number of different names, including Medici, Medicus, and Iatros. They had official education and training in the field of medicine, and their expertise was in high demand because of this. The writings and teachings of prominent people such as Galen, Celsus, and Dioscorides had a significant impact on the field of medicine during this time period. Some of the most well-known Roman physicians were Galen, Celsus, and Dioscorides. Roman physicians took a holistic approach to patient care, placing a strong emphasis on gaining a comprehensive understanding of their patients' conditions and conditions in general. They believed that maintaining a healthy balance between the body's four humors, blood, phlegm, yellow bile, and black bile, was essential to a long and productive life. Roman physicians were highly adept in both the diagnosis and treatment of a wide variety of illnesses and disorders. They employed a number of different diagnostic approaches, such as observation, physical examination, and gathering patients' medical histories. Roman physicians were capable of performing surgical procedures, but they also placed a significant emphasis on the use of less invasive treatment methods. They would prescribe medical plants, make specialized mixtures, and recommend dietary adjustments in order to bring the balance of the humors back into harmony and facilitate the healing process. The prescriptions for medicinal cures were written up with great care and contained detailed instructions on the appropriate dosages and administration procedures. These prescriptions frequently included a mix of different ingredients, including plant and mineral matter, as well as animal byproducts. Roman physicians had access to a vast body of medical knowledge throughout Roman history. 
They studied medical materials written in ancient Greek and expanded upon the foundation laid by famous Greek physicians such as Hippocrates and Galen. They participated in the ever-evolving area of medicine by doing their own research and experiments which contributed to the field. The Roman Empire created regulations and professional standards for physicians to adhere to in order to guarantee the high quality of medical care that was provided. They were obliged to be registered with various medical organizations and to conform to certain ethical criteria, such as those pertaining to patient welfare and confidentiality of information. By combining their understanding of anatomy, therapeutic herbs, and diagnostic skills, the ancient Roman doctors played an essential part in the delivery of healthcare to the populace of Rome. Their commitment and expertise established the groundwork for the creation of medical practices that are still evolving and shaping the field of healthcare to this day. Many thanks for arriving, and remember to keep learning about the past in the meantime by subscribing to our channel.